Just another day going to school. How did you sleep? Yeah. Good. Very good. Very good. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay, I'm fine. Welcome to day two. It's 7 a.m. You leave at 7.30, and in order to speed things up, they take your breakfast order the night before. So Taylor ordered an apple porridge, and I ordered a vegetarian omelet. So we're going to eat some grub really quick, go back to the room, pack up, and be on our way. I'm fogging it up with my nose. Oh, it is cold. <laughs> oh, it is cold. It's cold. <laughs> and this is our warmest day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks healthy. It feels good on a cold morning. Nice. And the apple's a nice touch. And I have toast with an omelet, and the omelet has carrots in it. <laughs> Veggie. <laughs> Veggie. The carrots are an interesting touch. It's like. <laughs> An interesting little um, crunch. <laughs> so yes, it is true. Our guide confirmed. Day two is the hard one. So today, I'll read it to you like my librarian used to read it to me. <laughs> Day two. Trek to Namche Bazaar. Gateway to Mount Everest. 3,440 meters. Overnight at Guest House. The day will begin with a gentle walk to Monjo. Another beautiful Sherpa settlement of the trek. Official entry into the national park where you will have to show your permits. The walk to Namche Bazaar involves a tough uphill climb of about 590 meters, taking approximately five hours. However, halfway up the hill, you will be able to see Everest and Lhotse for the first time. As you approach the town of Namche Bazaar, the peaks of Tomsirku, Kwang Di, <laughs> are visible to the east and the west and the sacred mountain of Kumbila. So basically it's gonna be a three-hour walk to our lunch spot. That's gonna be up and down kind of like it was day one, but then the final three hours up to Namche Bazaar, it is three hours directly up, 590 meters. That's a lot of elevation gain. Mm -hmm. I think we're ready for this one. I think we're ready. And we're off. The best part about day two is you get to go over five of the hanging bridges. It's right outside of the town is the first one. <laughs> Here goes nothing. One for five. The layers have already come off, <laughs> and we are at our first major peak. What is this one called? How high? Oh my. Yep, let's go. We're two for five. Three more to go. All right, there is no turning back now. This is the entrance to the Everest National Park. 
Or Sagamartha. Or Mata. Mata. Because in Nepali, T-H is pronounced with a T. So Everest was named after some white dude who came here and saw the mountain and thought, you know what, that should be named after me, as white dudes do. <laughs> but this is what the locals call it. And today is the day that we are supposed to have our first view. Four hours left until our final destination for day two. How far have we come? Three hours? Mm-hmm. Nice. And now our guide is checking us into the National Park with our permits. <laughs> Welcome to fast food lunch place. <laughs> we are opting for an outdoor lunch by the river. Not bad. We both got the vegetarian noodles with egg, but Tay's is a little bit interesting. My noodles came with cheese. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. And we're now ready to hit the road again for three hours to Nam Chai Bazaar. And it's supposed to be the hardest part of the week because it is straight up. So, uh... Bridge number four. <laughs> this might be the most amazing thing I've ever seen. We're struggling with our little backpacks. And this guy's got this. All right, that right there is the highest bridge we will cross above the river. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the three amigos <laughs> surviving three the tallest amigos. bridge on the track. is low, but really. <laughs> when they say past lunch, it's an uphill climb, they're not lying. It's just straight uphill. My heart is racing. Braden's fine. I'm not. We were both curious about the wildlife in the park because so far you just see like crows and the national park sign says that they have deer, they have the national bird of Nepal, and then in the entire national park there are only four snow leopards. We uh, asked our guide if he's ever seen one. He was like, no. <laughs> like, oh, that's why. But we're going to see one this week. Okay. <laughs> I can feel it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so this is where Mount Everest is supposed to be. <laughs> it's a little cloudy, but we've got some more days to see it. So not heartbroken. In the meantime, that is Lhotse, and it is also really tall. <laughs> Welcome to the world's highest Irish pub. <laughs> we made it to our home for the next two nights. Woohoo!
This city's huge. Mount Kailash Lodge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, he said he got us a room with a view and he Yeah, he nailed that. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe this is our room for two days. This is like the dream Himalayan town that I've always wanted to stay in, and this is the dream view. He nailed it with this one. Oh, it's so amazing. And I'm not trying to be like Mr. Cool Guy, like I can do anything. I thought that day was challenging, absolutely hard, no. If that's really the hardest day, we're totally fine. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> she did good. She had some troubles, but she did good. She made it. We made it in under the amount of time that we were supposed to, and I, I didn't think that was hard. It was just difficult for me to breathe, but that happens to me anywhere we go. It's hard, but just like looking up ahead and seeing where you are keeps you going. It motivates you. Yeah. Yeah. Such an awesome day. Yeah.